so cometh the hour, cometh the men. Tim Mander is the referee from Australia. It's going to be England who will kick off. Great camaraderie on both sides of the fence here. And by the sound of things, the crowd at the moment well and truly on the side of the English. Well, state of origin, it might not be, but it's as close as we get. Tim Mander blows the whistle, Andy Farrell gets us underway. The most eagerly awaited clash in this World Cup. It was a high-hanging kick-off, and England flooded forward. This is Anderson. Big drive in there. Williams was there, so too was Chris Joint and Terry O'Connor. Half a minute of the match gone. Deacon feeds it wide to Sean Long. Long way across the face of the defence. Gets it away. He allows Keith Senior. He gets the ball away to Rogers. And Darren Rogers is met by a fierce defence from Michael Winners and Ryan Sheridan. to Deacon, Deacon will hoist the kick out wide, looking for the tall man Rogers. he claims it on the full, gets the ball out wide to Senior, here's the first try, England off the mark, first try to the English, they haven't given it yet, they're going to go to the video referee, Manda wants the video ref to check, onside first of all, and what about the corner post, did Keith Senior hit the corner post before he got the ball down? Waiting kick there from the halfback Paul Deacon. Good work also from Darren Rogers. Takes it much how he loops around. Sini was quick there, nothing wrong with it. That looks okay, and I don't think that his feet trails on the whitewash or anywhere. They're checking for the offside. No, he looks okay. The ball goes straight out wide to the winger Darren Rogers. And from contact, that's OK. The man coming into your screen there is Senior, the man who eventually scores a try. But watch how Senior will just loop around the back. As soon as Rogers gets the ball, he goes out wide. That was wonderful thinking there from Rogers. What a combination. They'll check to see if any whitewash on the flag, but I don't think so. Bang! That's a fantastic try. An outstanding piece of rugby league football. And on song is the little halfback Paul Deacon. Two wonderful kicks. First to the right, and on that occasion to the left. Farrell with the kick. It's not got the legs, though. But England with the lead, 4 0, and they will be pleased about that. That will settle the nerves. Connor. O'Connor was snatched up by Long and hauled to the ground. The Irish captain gets to his feet, plays it to Williams, coming down the short side with Kevin Campion, who will be operating in Super League 6 with the Warrington Wolves. Williams from the Melbourne Storm, Dunny half to Tommy Martin. Lovely Dunny and Martin dumped it into space. And it uh, might have just have affected the crowd somewhat, but this is a good attendance for this World Cup quarter-final here and the lights are heading on this Saturday night. The scrum's wheeled him round, but uh, Ryan Sheridan gets the ball away. That's a glorious pass from Martin to Withers. Withers taking it on the fly. And surely the Irish will come back this way. They do with Rickardson. Nine metres away. Williams. Back it goes to Campion. Campion to Rickardson. Rickardson examining the line. This is a big call. This is a big mistake here. He knows it's sliding. Oh, oh it's he's just he's got it. it. Not surprising he went for the screen, but it's TRY and the Irish back in this match. And this is Steve Prescott of uh, Ireland and Hull next year. 
34 points so far in this World Cup. That makes 36 for him in the World Cup of 2000. And Ireland have a lead, six points to four. Sadly for the English, Anderson didn't. Sheridan will hoist the bomb. It's a cracker. Wellens is after it. They've spilled it in. the ball has been a real mess in many of the matches that we've seen both live and on tape. Well, they have been warned about it to uh, really get all the England to up the tempo at the start of this second half. That was the secret of their success when they had the Irish on the, the back foot as they have now with Big Paul Anderson. Andrew Farrell left the field at half time against Russia at St Helens. He got those 22, the joint record number of points for his country here last week against Fiji. And it's two more to his. And England's total here. The man in his great group test debut with anyway. Four points the difference. 16 and a half minutes, the second half gone. Four short in possession for England. See the Irish trying to just lay all over them, slow things down. They want that clock 
to be ticking away as quickly as possible. And the fullback Steve Prescott back out onto the padding. Long, long still. He's been doing this all season. Beautiful play there. And even though Rickardson got to him, he offloaded back inside to the skipper. And Tony Smith. Well, John Keir, the English coach, said that Jamie Peacock would be super sub. Add to that list, Tony Smith. Excellent support play. Beautiful bodywork there from Farrell back on the inside. Oh. Great talent to come on off the bench. And Farrell. Three from four. Four from five. England suddenly across the lead. 20 points to ten. Pressure to the ground eventually. Two tackles gone, but England crucially in Ireland territory. With Long. Now with Anderson. Good ball. Tommy Martin went for the glory, finished up with nothing. This guy finished up with four points. John Keir, David Howes alongside him. No, the semi-finals beckon. And they beckon even stronger now. 26-10, England. You can see this defence moving up very quickly. From credit to the coach, John Keir as well. It was a problem in, late in that first half. The Back him up, A little bit well, slow, but they certainly well, have sorted all that out. Shall we probably be penalised for that? Well, I think even John Keir would realise that this second half has been an outstanding effort from his players. Really faultless in many ways. Yes, but a good effort from them. And uh, John Keir now looks forward to New Zealand or France. The odds are it's going to be New Zealand. But this has been a great workout for that semi-final to come next week. Been a tough encounter. Very tough indeed. Great ball from Rickardson. Lovely run. Well, mere consolation, but full credit to him. And who's the man providing it? That man again, Luke Rickardson. Good effort from Withers. That will not have pleased the English coach, John Keir. I'm sure the message would have gone out. Make sure we keep that try line safe. But that's good work there from Withers. Good step off the left foot. But he can feel proud, as the entire team in green tonight. Prescott from Bang in front adds the extra two. We're talking about England and maybe New Zealand next week, Steve. Oh, they cannot switch off like that in defence against the Kiwis. So don't take anything away from a good offload from Rickardson. He has played his heart out. It was a good service to Withers. Well, they are coming and coming and coming Ireland, and Andy Kelly and Steve O'Neill will be rightly proud of this team. Wonderful spirit. From the moment they stepped on the jet plane to La Manga, the Tuesday before this World Cup got underway to this night at Headingley, they have been a credit. Well, not only that, Eddie, they have brought so much interest in regards to rugby league in Ireland. Surely now the people who run Super League can build on this. Well, we mustn't let that slip. Let's hope that we can take a Super League game over to Ireland. At least one, and uh, Dublin or Belfast. Well, let's do both. And we would love to be there in each of the way with them, incidentally. Kick over the top and clinch down the throat of Ravinsky. It's all over for the Irish.
try for the Irish. It was four tries to three in the end, though, and England 